Welcome back to my channel, Miss Peggy here, all the way from North Texas, from my house to your house. So, I'm just sitting on my bed today, taking it easy. You can see my new pillow cases that I got from Timu, and my purple sheets I got from Timu. I tell you, I've had these sheets um, several weeks, and I've washed them several times. I put them back on the bed. And I'm fixing to order another set. Um, I don't know, maybe uh, green or something to match my pillowcases. But, uh, yeah, they wash really good. These are one of the very few sheets I've ever bought that stayed tucked in on the corners. Um, I've had to, in the past, uh, buy the sheets that have that extra elastic strap that goes across the corner underneath so it will stay i've used the little suspender um uh elastics that you clamp on the underside that holds them in uh, and i'm really shocked because i didn't think they had stay tucked in and they have they have just been wonderful i love the pillowcases i love the sheets and um i, I think they're great so i got a couple of more things in the mail so, um, let's get to it. Let's start pushing them, pushing them over here closer so I can get to them. So, Charlie's sitting on the bed with me. Um, you know, Charlie's having a hard time. He can't really see and, um, he can't really hear anymore. So when I call him or talk to him, he don't even hear me. And sometimes he don't even see me. I can be standing right in front of him and he'll be looking for me. It's like, it's really a sad thing. But anyway, um, let's see what I reordered. Because you know I reordered some stuff. I mean, not reordered some stuff, but I got some stuff that I can use. And stuff that I need, um to get along in life, right? <laughs> so, you know, I ordered this. You know, and I showed y'all, I put all my jewelry in it and I don't have enough room. So I'm gonna put this in a drawer. It's just a, like a dresser drawer about this deep and it pulls out and I'm just gonna set this in here so it'll just be looking at me when I open the drawer. So I got this one to go with it because I got more rings than I do necklaces and I needed some more space. So, yeah, so this is just like this one. It just doesn't have the cubby hole for the necklaces. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm probably going to order maybe one or two more of these if they fit in the drawer right so that I can keep my jewelry um, close to me. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Oh, this is the other cell phone thing that I ordered. You know, this one has little hooks on the side. The one that I got last time don't have the hooks on the side. This one has the hooks on the side so you can put the cords on it and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I've got, a, I've got a couple places in my house that I sit with my phone, and these are really handy. They just uh, have a little sticky thing that puts them on the on the wall. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one because it did have the uh, additional little side things right here so you can hang your stuff on. So this is excellent beside the bed. I wouldn't even mind having one right here, <laughs> but I'm not gonna put it on my headboard and ruin it. But yeah, these are really handy. So I love these also and then i got another one of these because over my door right there i have um lots of things i can hang i'm gonna put this one in my guest room on the back of the door because it's it's also good i've already got two purses hanging on the one in my room i've got my old purse and i need to throw it away but i didn't but it's hanging and i got my new purse hanging on it and um i've got well, I have two new purses, but that 
package of six purses that all match with a keychain and everything. I gave that to my daughter in love yesterday for her birthday. And it was six different purses. And it was that color I got was uh, like the leather looking color. Uh, and she loved it. She, she just thought it was the it was the perfect color and she loved the purses so um, I'm gonna keep up with her and, and make sure and check back and see that she still loves it later but that six purse is kind of called um, satchels and luggage type but they're purses and there's a big one there's small ones that you know one of them that I'm carrying was was in there but yeah so I love these these are great. They just hang right over your door, and they'll be there. You put house coats, pajamas, whatever you want. It doesn't have to be purses. But, um, yeah, so I got this for my other bedroom. And like I told you, my granddaughter will be here Sunday. Um, she's going to spend a couple days with me. She's on vacation, and she's out in South Carolina, North Carolina. And... Um, she, she wants to stay with me instead of staying uh, in a motel or something. I was like, absolutely. I don't ever want you to stay in a motel. So this right here is a cabbage slicer. And I'm always buying cabbage. And uh, I, I cook cabbage in, uh, you know, grated cabbage in my scrambled eggs. And I just love cabbage. Cabbage is one of the few vegetables that I can eat that doesn't have a lot of K in it. Because vitamin K affects my blood thinner. And I take blood thinners for my AFib. I've had AFib since I was about 20. And I've been under medication for it since I was probably 50 something. So I've been on it a long time. But it, it you know, if I stay hydrated and drink a lot of water, my heart never AFibs. And my doctor never detects it at the doctor's office. Um, but they did when I was, when I had my stroke is when they detected it. And that's how long I've been on the medicine. But like I said, if I drink a lot of water and stuff, I can pretty much keep it under control so it doesn't get any worse. But anyway, you know, when you're on blood thinners, you have to watch your vitamin K intake because... Vitamin K will thin your blood if you take if you eat too much of it, and that's spinach and greens and kale and uh, green beans. Anything that has uh, K in it is green vegetables. But cabbage is one of the lightest ones. So this is it, and and you just take the cabbage and you just do it back and forth like this, and it makes shreds on it whole. So I'm anxious to use this. Now this I forgot to look up the the prices but this was like 40 cents that is all so I'm gonna go get me some cabbage oh and this is my cell phone wallet I ordered a cell phone wallet for my phone that y'all are talking to me on so let me see if it fit yeah it looks like it yeah y'all gonna fit in there so let's open it because this is supposed to hold my cell phone. It's for an iPhone 11, and that's what I have. And See, it's got a little place right there for your phone to go in, and then the little hole for your camera. And, um, need to get this tape off. Yeah, and it's blue. It says it's leather. It feels like leather, but it's supposed to be genuine leather. Now, I guess they dyed it, but um, yeah. And it has a little thing here. To, you can put your cards in there. You can put your money in there, whatever you want. And um, yeah, I can just take my phone and my money. Or you can put this in your... Uh, in your purse, it's a magnet right there that claps it. You can hear it when it clips. See? That's a magnet. And it has this little strap on it. Oh, look how good that matches my shirt. But yeah, you know, I don't know if I'm going to put this in my purse. 
and then I can just take it in the store when I go in the Dollar General and keep my money in there. Or, um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to use it, but I'm going to use it because it goes with my phone. But, yeah, this was only like, I don't know, less than $5 because I don't really buy anything that's more than $5 and unless it's something I really want, like a shirt or something. I did order some gauze shirts. I'm hoping it's in one of these bags. Oh, and this is a blood pressure monitor, automatic wrist thing. And I have a blood pressure machine sitting right by my bed. I take my blood pressure several times a day. And um, yeah, so I got this one. This blood pressure machine I don't know if I can find it on this other phone or not. But let's see if it will. I don't have, no, it doesn't have it. But anyway, I'm pretty sure this blood pressure machine wasn't very much either like less than ten dollars so i'm gonna try it and i'm gonna let you know if it's as good as the one i'm using because i paid this one right here i paid fifty dollars for it at um the drugstore so now this this is a chainsaw <laughs> a little chainsaw that you hold in your hand and it will cut a limb if you just pull it back and forth and um yeah, I got it because I have some limbs, and I, I sure like to um, just cut limbs to keep them off the roof, um, low-hanging limbs, you know, they, I've got oak trees around here, and they always grow on new limbs and stuff, and I've got a couple I have to duck under to turn the water on, I'm going to trim those, and I got one that's hanging over the roof, I'm going to try to trim that one, and you just put it up on the limb, and then you just hold your fingers on this and shh, it'll saw the limb. So, um, yeah. So, I'm sure it's not going to cut like huge limbs, but little limbs you can and just get rid of them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of anxious about that. I might even make a video showing you which limbs I cut and how well it works. But, yeah, this was just like a couple dollars. Um, it's a little chainsaw. A wire chainsaw so yeah probably can't get it back in the bag but I'll try to okay now and that was all that's in that bag and I guarantee you that's probably only $10 I'm gonna try to look them up and maybe I'll put them on the video before I load it but, um, yeah, those are good. I love these. Let me move them because Charlie's laying there. And if he gets up, he's going to stomp all over them. He can't see. If he does, he just stomps all everything. He just plows through like a bull. But get out of my way. Here I come. And bless his heart. That's why he was falling off the bed and stuff. Because he just can't see. But I've got all the children's stuff on the bed so he can't fall off. And he hadn't fallen off one time since I got that baby gate that's over here on the side of the bed. So here's my other package. Let me see how this is. Um, you know... I've got a lighter, a cigarette lighter that I ordered from Timu that is rechargeable and it's a butane. And I've had one years and years ago when I was in my 20s. I, I, I bought one at the convenience store and I had the butane. I would refill it up and everything and I love that lighter. But that was in my days when I smoked cigarettes in my 20s and I don't anymore. But I, I ordered one because I saw them on there. 
and I ordered them so I can use it to light my charcoal. Because when I grill and I use charcoal, I don't buy the self-lighting stuff, but I pile it up in a pile and then I put like three chips on it, tater chips, Doritos, and then I use my cigarette lighter and I light the chip, set it back down on the other chips, and the chips, like I said, are fried and they will get your grill started. So I needed a new lighter for that because all the ones that I buy at the Dollar General, they are empty and I have to throw them away. So this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to just stick it in the drawer and refill it and save myself more money that way and not have to buy them all the time. So anyway, why I was telling you about that one is because it was with this order here, but I don't know, for some reason, I guess because it's a cigarette lighter, it had to go through customs and it went through separate from these and these went on and got shipped through and everything. But the lighter is still stuck in the process. It was in customs all the way up till the middle of the night this morning. So it just got released from customs. And it'll be here soon. But I just thought it was funny. It's like, why cigarette lighters? Why does that have to go through customs like that? But it did. And it's just a little like a Bic lighter. But it's a refillable and, re and reusable. I can't get nothing out of here. It's all stuck. Well, let me see what's stuck in here. See, I'm going to have to slice open the bag a little more. Something in here don't want to come out. Oh, it's got tape on here, too. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what this is. This feels like it's leather. What? Oh, this is my little purse. It's got the butterfly on it. Oh. Oh, I love this already, and I haven't got it open. Let's see if I can get it open. Oh, look at that. And this purse was only like $3, $4. It's really cheap. And I love that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And I want to carry that, believe it or not, man. It has a little shoulder strap. You can put on the sides. Okay, I like that. Isn't that cute? Yeah, and it's got that real cute little butterfly right there okay I like that let's see what else make sure I'm not cutting anything okay now this is a shirt it looks like comes in a bag I really like the way they individually wrap everything. Isn't that pretty? And I just love all the shirts that I've been getting. And I gave my daughter-in-law one yesterday. And um, I, I've been getting large for myself, but this one's an extra large. Because if she says it fit, 
I'm going to give her some for Christmas. Because these are, I mean, this is not. But those shirts I've been buying, those are the most comfortable shirts. And even if you don't use them to wear outside, I mean, they're only like $4. And um, $5 maybe. Um, you can um, sleep in them. I've slept in one and it's really comfortable. So... And they really squeezed everything in this bag. It's like, it's almost like it's shrink wrapped around it. I don't know what these are. Looks like a purse. Looks like a purse in there or something. It feels like a purse. Let's open it and see. And they put it in another little bag so it stays good. Look at that. It feels like leather. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I think this purse might be the exact same as my other purse. Yeah. But I love this purse. This is the one I'm carrying myself. And I'm going to use this for a Christmas present. Because it is just like the one I'm using. And I do love it. So, um, yeah. Um, you know... I got granddaughters and daughter-in-laws, and these will make great Christmas presents. But, yeah, it feels just like leather. Okay. It's the wrong bag. Oh, here it is. Okay, this is the last thing. These are my car seat covers. Now, uh, let me get a drink. They're uh, car seat covers, bucket seats, because my car is a Buick and it has bucket seats. And these are car seat covers. And I'm pretty sure these car seat covers only cost me like... Um, Fifteen or eighteen dollars. I would double check that and make sure. But um, if if you put something in your cart and you leave it there for a long time, and I've had these in there because I've been wanting them because they're blue, and my car is seven years old, and if you don't protect the seats, they can start getting fabric damage. So I've ordered these. So let's see what they're gonna look like. You can see how they go on the seat, and they're blue. I don't know if that's the bottom or the top. But yeah, and I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to um, put them on, and I'll show you. That's the bottom right there. So this is the bottom, and this is the back. And my car is blue, and... Um, yeah, I'm going to try these and see because uh, I, I've, I've read all the reviews and people said they're excellent and they really do uh, take care of the problem. But um, they have them for the back seat and the front seat. So if you have the back seat, people can get those. So I just got the ones for the front seat because, you know... In seven years, I think I've only had somebody in the back seat a couple times. So the back seat's really not an issue for wear and tear. Oh, and look, and these are for the, um, what do you call those, head, head cover things for your head. You just kind of slip them on like a bonnet. But, um, yeah. Oh, look, and then here's the little brads that they put for you to hook the, the seat covers on 
But yeah, I'm anxious to do those. So that was only $18. And they feel good. I mean, they're made out of fabric that feels durable. I mean, it's not that thick, but it's durable. And um, yeah, so I'm going to try them and I'll, I'll take the video out there and let y'all see me putting them on there. But yeah. So um, yeah, so that's everything that came in my order today. And, um, I'm loving Timu, and I'm telling you, that jacket I wear, um, this jacket, I love this jacket. Every morning when I wake up, I always wake up like at 3.30 or 4, and when I first get up, it's cold in the house, and I'll get up and just put this on, and not change the settings on the air conditioner, and, um, and when I get warmed up, I could take it off. But anyway, um, y'all, go try Timu. I mean, just double check what you're buying. Go down and check the descriptions. Go down and check the measurements because they got measurements, descriptions. They've got everything you need to know to make sure that um, you pick the exact thing you want. So... Yeah, so I'm loving and I give the sheets a 10. I give the pillowcases a 10. Um, I stick that remote under the pillow because when Charlie walks around on the bed, he'll change the channel. Stepping on it, he even turns the TV off sometimes. <laughs> so I set it under here so that he can't turn it off. That's why I did that. It's just a habit. But anyway, uh, yeah, so adios from North Texas. And goodbye from Cowtown. And y'all go try Timu, because I, I would say yes, because um, everything that I've got in my jewelry over here, it's sitting out in the air, so I can double check and make sure it don't tarnish. And none of this stuff is tarnishing. Now, I've got my little, this is not Timu, this is my Mardi Gras mask pin. And I'm gonna start buying pins like this, because I'm gonna start putting them on stuff so that I can use them because this just sits in my jewelry box and I never remember to put it on anything and um, so I stuck it in here so that I could um, put it on something so yeah so these also are my favorite I love these earrings they're so pretty and they're comfortable and these these are the turquoise ones so these are the two I've had and I love the most. So they are costume jewelry, but they do not itch my ears and they are staying nice. And um, my butterfly rings, I love them, love them, love them. So I'm gonna find a drawer and stick this stuff in so that I can put all my jewelry out where I can just look at it and be able to tell. And these have been sitting out since my last video and these are the ones that Timu sent me as a uh as that uh, mystery box and they're not tarnishing either so i'm surprised about that but um i was expecting the gold stuff to tarnish but i know y'all said in some of your comments that y'all are using that gold ear earrings and stuff and they're not tarnishing so i think that's a good um my daughter-in-law loved those purses so much. She goes, oh, I see Timu, Timu all the time. I think she's going to start buying stuff from Timu. So my son might get mad at me because she's home all the time and she, she can shop as much as I do. But anyway, it's fun. It's all good and fun. So hi us from North Texas and goodbye from Cowtown. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye now. I'm back. You miss me? <laughs> so I just wanted to add this to the end of my video before I loaded it um, because um, this is that lighter I told you. I can feel it in there. And um, I don't have another order coming real soon, so I wanted to add this to that one. So this is that butane refillable lighter that I got from my charcoal so I can light my grill. 
and I can just throw it in the kitchen drawer and then when I need to light it, I can just grab, grab it right out the drawer. So let's look and see what it looks like. Make sure there's nothing else in there. That... Hey, Charlie, you come up here. Come up here with Mama. Come on. You good, baby. Come on. Just a second. Come on. Charlie just woke up from his nap. <laughs> I didn't know if he was going to get off the bed this way or just lay down over there. So, anyway, here it is. This is it. it has a little charging thing in there. So, let's open it and see, see what it looks like. But this is what they separated from what I showed you all ago. And this had to go through uh, a special uh, uh, customs security check. And I suppose because it's a lighter, I don't know. But they held it up at customs um, for a check for, God, like four days, I thought. But, um, you know, it just came pretty quick. But it's just solid black. It looks like you charge it on the side. Not much on the bottom. So the one I used to have, you charged it on the bottom. But I guess that's good so you don't have to... You can stand it up or whatever. Let's let's see inside. Okay, look, it's already charged up and ready. So it looks like it's ready to go, but look at that. And so here's the difference between um, what the, what's happening with the Biden and what's happening with Trump. Oh, Everybody look. Says, Biden had a we know Just push a that little light and the fire Biden. comes on. Watch it when I. Ooh. So, so yeah um yeah i'm gonna enjoy that because i'm always running out of matches i'm always running out of uh those long lighters and i you know it's like they're just always running out and then i don't have anything so i've been needing to get some matches those stick matches because i have the bathroom heater for the winter this will work for that too maybe and um then I have to do my charcoal. So I'm fixing to get that brisket out, one of them, and my pork butts, as soon as the weather fall, cools off, and we'll be eating that. So yeah, so it, it comes with everything you need, the charging and everything, so yeah. So uh, I'll let you know how it works, but it definitely is already charged, and um, I'll be giving it a test and see if it's working. So, Adios from North Texas, and goodbye from Cowtown, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye now.